Why, it is the goodness of God. You have been told what is called of you, O mortal. It is to do justice, to love goodness, and to walk humbly with your God. I love looking at the idea of justice. We look at it at Mishpat as it is. But to understand that justice within itself is an idea of sanctification and also purification. But it is in observing the law. In observing the law, what we end up seeing is that each and every one of us as human beings is found guilty before the law. We're all sinners, except for Jesus. Jesus actually is the perfect idea. Imagine the perfect man. Yeshua, the Navi the Mashiach, never missing a beat. And to understand that Christ is actually building forth and giving you this, and it is the divine immaculate conception and rebirth within the spirit of the mind, within the renewal of the mind, is therefore to be able to have inception of thought and a new perception of the world around you. David looked at it and he saw his sins before him. But imagine if I want to have the inverse of that. He also saw his blessings before him. In the same way that David mentions, well, yes, I saw my sins before me. He also saw the kingdom before him. Samuel came and he gave him the anointing and the blessing so that he knew that he already had the kingdom. How is it that we end up seeing King David and how he ended up also seeing the kingdom that's set before him, that he had the anointing? And in understanding that he had the anointing for king over the entire country of Israel, what he also ended up having was such a hardship in getting to everything that he needed. But because of that, it actually opened up the doors and prepared him, edified him, strengthened him, and brought in those eternal blessings of God. Well, that's his goodness. But also the very judgment that we end up seeing is that though David was, well, he was a chief among sinners. Same way as Paul wrote it. I am chief among sinners. And they tear forth and they mourn and they weep for forgiveness. David did it so often. There's a time where he lost a child. And he ended up doing this amazing morning. The child was sick and after the child died, he ate and they didn't understand it. But to understand that mourning itself changes the perception the way that we end up having an interaction within God. It's the way that the world reacts with you. That there's a spiritual balance. When we have that appreciation and a new understanding for it, we understand how it shifts within the spirit. How we accept the fast. How we accept hardship. And it's as Paul wrote, for we know all things work together for good. What is good? All things are good if you love God. That's the key. More than anything, is to accept God's righteousness and to ask for pardon for wickedness. Is to accept the wealth and to ask God and supplicate for everything that you need. To trust in Yahweh Yajire, the Lord our provider, when in poverty. To give and to receive an equal measure, pressed down and overflowing in the abundance of His goodness and His love. You have been told, O mortal, what is called of you. It is to do justice, to love goodness, and to walk humbly with God. I want to pray for you. The meaning of the way is the walk that we take with God. I want to pray that you walk with Christ Jesus, that he gives you everything that you need, that he lifts you up, that he's your deliverer, and that Christ takes you where he wants you, that he lifts you up, that he gives you everything that you're going to need to prosper, and to give others the good news of Christ Jesus. God bless. God bless America. And I'll see you.